Investors are spooked. Are we in an AI bubble? AI was pitched as the rocket to AGR, but then ChatGPT5 finally arrived. Instead of blast off, it left many of us out in the cold. Investors expected fireworks. Users expected transformation. What we got felt more like an incremental update. So the question hangs heavy. Is this it? Have we already hit the plateau or are we just strapped into the roller coaster waiting for the next climb? The launch of ChatGPT5 was an eye-opener. Everyone thought, here comes AGI, but it felt more like a software update than a revolution. Then Apple dropped its report saying scaling isn't a cheat code. Push problems harder and these models just give up. Around the same time, MIT published a study showing that almost 95% of corporate AI pilots fail. 95%. All this is leading the AI doomers to get doomier. What is the truth? On AI Basics, we're officially calling it the AI bubble has burst. And there are five reasons why. Number one, the language of the leaders. Number two, Apple and the scaling laws. Number three, PhD level maths, question mark. Number four, actual enterprise ROI, and number five, other cracks that are appearing in the system. Let's hear what the leaders themselves are saying. Satya Nadella, I care far less about AGI. We can't just focus on valuations and hype around AGI for the sake of AGI. We have to show tangible effects, real productivity, real economic growth. This artificial intelligence is unfortunately the worst name we could have ever picked. And so I'm not into this anthropomorphizing AI at all. I mean, I think of it more, I come at it as it's a tool. It's not trying to replicate how we think. Uh, it is, it, it's definitely showing signs of intelligence, but it's not uh, intelligence that I have. And I think of human agency still will matter, will be there, and we will sort of use these as tools. So that's kind of my position. Today's technical benchmarks are meaningless now that most are saturated. For him, the real test of AI progress and the proof of artificial general intelligence when it comes should be measured in outcomes, not leaderboard scores. In June 2025, Sundar Pichai called it jagged intelligence. AI systems excel in some areas but fail in others. They can solve complex tasks but stumble on basics, like counting the R's in strawberry. That's A-J-I, artificial jagged intelligence. Counting R's in strawberry or something which seems to trip up most models or whatever it is, right? So, uh, so maybe we should throw that term in there. I, I feel like we are in the A-J-I phase where like dramatic progress, some things don't work well, but overall, you know, you're seeing uh, lots of progress. But if your question is, will, will it happen by 2030? Look, we constantly move the line of what it means to be AGI. And Pichai was clear. Google will prioritize tools that solve real problems over headline grabbing AI achievements. And in August 2025, Sam Altman in a press call said, GPT-5 represents a significant leap but it falls short of achieving artificial general intelligence. Put together, they all admit AGI is still out of reach. Then comes in Apple. In June 2025, Apple's research team published a paper called The Illusion of Thinking, and their conclusion was blunt. Scaling AI isn't magic. Just adding more GPUs and bigger models doesn't suddenly make AI more capable of reasoning. On simple puzzles, models do fine. On medium problems, reasoning helps. But push into real complexity, 
accuracy collapses. Apple's own words, we observe a complete accuracy collapse when reasoning complexity increases, even when resources are available. The Guardian headline was even harsher. Billion dollar AIs break down over puzzles that a child can do. The message is clear, bigger isn't better forever. AI today still hits a wall when problems get truly hard. And while Apple was exposing the failures, the headlines were celebrating something else. We had a model that was able to achieve gold level performance on the IMO. Then the headlines rolled in. ChatGPT and DeepMind win gold at the International Math Olympiad. Sounds like AI has conquered PhD level math, right? Not so fast. The IMO is strictly a pre-university competition. Students must be under 20 and not in college yet. These are insanely bright students, no question. But these are curated exam style puzzles for high schoolers. So yes, it's impressive that AI can match the best in the world at that level. But let's not confuse that with true frontier level reasoning. Then came the big blow, MIT's report. In August 2025, MIT released a study showing that 95% of AI pilots in companies fail. 95%. The flashy demos get attention, but when it's time to scale into real world productions, most fall apart. And more research keeps piling on. A BCG Stanford survey found fewer than 10% of enterprise pilots make it to scale. Gartner predicts generative AI projects will fail to deliver ROI through 2027. The takeaway, the gap between hype and reality is massive. There are also a lot of other cracks showing up in AI armors, even beyond Apple and MIT. The first is on creativity. The study tested 14 models on validated benchmarks. What was their verdict? No evidence of increased creative performance in the past 18 to 24 months. Less than 0.3% of AI outputs hit the top 10% of human creativity. On reasoning under pressure, even the best models fall apart. As the Atlantic and Arc Prize Foundations know, when problems get harder, AI just doesn't slip, it breaks down. The third is about hallucinations. GPT-5 reduced them by 25 to 65%, but they're still there. On tests like long fact concepts and health bench, even GPT-5 Nano hallucinates 1 to 2% of the time. There's been progress, but not reliability. The fourth is on data bottlenecks. A lot of people have been warning, we're hitting a data wall. A 2024 study projected that models would exhaust public high quality data by 2026 to 2032. Without synthetic data, licensing or new models, scaling alone won't cut it. Put simply, creativity has plateaued, reasoning falls apart under complexity, hallucinations linger, and the data well is drying up. AI is powerful, but smooth and limitless? Definitely not. Here's the bottom line. AI today isn't artificial general intelligence. It's artificial jagged intelligence. Brilliant one moment, broken the next. Apple shows that scaling hits a wall. The IMO hype was overblown. MIT says most projects fail. St and studies show creativity is flat, reasoning breaks down, and hallucinations remain. Nadella says, stop chasing hype. Pichai calls it jagged. Gates admits common sense is missing. And Altman says we're still old. AGI may still be far away. That's why the focus is shifting towards tools that solve real problems instead of headline grabbing achievements. Because one thing is clear, AI progress is no longer about simple scaling and more compute. It now demands paradigm shifts, new architectures, and a new global ecosystem.